Hello. In this Java tutorial, we are going to start learning about array lists. Before learning about array lists, you're going to want to have a general understanding about how arrays work in Java. For more information on that, please click on the link in the upper right hand corner of this screen. Some important facts. Array lists are similar to arrays, however they are more flexible and they are automatically resized as needed when we add or remove an element. Only objects can be stored in an array list. An array list implements the list interface and you must import the correct packages before using it. The packages are java.util.arraylist and java.util.list. However, it's probably easier to just import java.util.star. Let's look at the two ways we can create an array list. The first is to say array list, the data type we want to store in it, and the name of the reference variable. Then to create the object we say equals new array list, the type of object we want to store, and open close parentheses followed by a semicolon. The second way is to say list, the type of object we want to store in it, the name of the reference variable, equals new array list, the object type, open and close parentheses, followed by a semicolon. In either case, we have a reference variable created on the stack and something that points to an empty array list on the heap. Now let's look about how we can use array lists in more detail. Here we're creating a new instance of an array list with the reference variable pets. We are adding the string dog by using the one parameter add method. The one parameter add method adds it to the end of the array list. Next, we are adding a cat. Again, it will add it to the end of the array list on the heap. Here we're using a two parameter add. This tells us what index we want to add it in and the object we are trying to add. It inserts the object, in this case the string owl, inside the middle of the array list and slides everything else down. Next, we can use the set method. The set method will change the value of the object at the given index. So index 0 will get changed to the string bat. The remove command will remove the object at the given index and slide everything else down to take up the empty space. Here we are using the get method. Git pulls the object out of the specified index. In this case, we are going to output the value of the object retrieved. Here we are getting the value at index 0, but we are storing it into a string. Some more important facts about array lists. The add method with one parameter always returns true. On some test questions, it may be important to know this. The add method with two parameters doesn't return anything ever. We can store primitive types in an array list by placing them inside a wrapper class. We will learn how to do this in a future video. For further reading, check out this website or type ArrayList Java Oracle into Google and choose the first result. To see the next video in the curriculum, please click on the video in the lower left hand corner of the screen. To see the entire curriculum, please click on the video link in the lower right hand corner of the screen.